So, here we are, back in the XJ here. Uh, as you know, we've been working on some sunroof uh, issues and sunroof parts here. So, um, if you're getting uh, a set of the sunroof parts, so the three that, uh, that have modeled up here and that have made are uh, these three. So, you've got the one, which is the drain channel... Um, basically the drain channel support. Uh, here's the original, for example. Um, looks like it was just a molded plastic. So anyways, uh, this, the one we've got here is a mirror image of that right now. We've got both sides available. Um, where, it, where it clicks into the, uh, the pivot point here is the part that usually breaks on these, as you can tell by this one. Um, another part a lot of people break is actually this back clip that holds that back part of the um, sunroof panel um, in there the inside of the headliner basically panel that's what it clips into so anyways um so here's what the new parts look like we've got this which is that uh, drain channel um, support that runs on the back of the uh of the whole slider there. Um, this is, we're just looking at the passenger side parts right now. This is a brand new um, aluminum uh, piece that is actually that cam that drives the um, sunroof uh, and pushes it A, up into the tilt position, and then B, sinks back down and then slides back to pull the sunroof up and down. Um, on these, what usually breaks is this arm. These arms usually bust all off. They're made out of a cheap pot uh, pot aluminum, I think. Anyways, this is, uh, I believe we've got them to about 98% solid aluminum on these things. Um, did you know you could 3D print aluminum? Here it is. So this is a 3D printed part. Um, the third piece that we've got available is this one. Uh, and that's where your actual cable first clips into for the sunroof goes into this little groove right there, that small one. Um, then the cable end just sticks out through right here. Um, and this is what actually pulls your sunroof back. Uh, what normally breaks on these, A, is this clip busts. Um, and uh, sometimes you've got the, the busted cable cable connection points and stuff like that. So these actually slap onto here. Um, as you can see, there's a hole through there where your pin, pivot pin goes. And then as well on here, there's a hole through there. So um, how they actually connect is you're going to be basically connecting them in like that, and then they're going to be pivoting up and down and getting pushed and pulled uh, in your sunroof like that. So there you have it you've got some parts uh, available at least anyway we'll uh, we'll see what we can do to get them installed so yeah there we are um things you might need to reuse from your old sunroof uh parts that you're going to pull out is that pin um that you that you're that you see that's going to be going in use it in these ones um other than that these are basically a push in and uh and play uh Peace. So we'll uh, we'll get them installed and we'll see how they end up working. So, anyways, there you go. Now that you've got all your new pieces in here, uh, you're gonna want to make sure you push all both sides, I suppose, back up to the front. So you're gonna want to push on that, push on that, make sure they locked in. I've done that already. Sorry, I didn't show that, but that's a fairly simple process. And you do that before you bolt the motor on. Uh, then you're going to come under here. See the camper van? <whistles> Rebuilding that baby. Anyways, uh, you're coming back under here. And then um, you're going to bolt your motor on. So you've got your three fasteners that bolt the motor back on. Um, you're plugging it in to the control module here. And then you're basically ready to test out this sunroof assembly. Um, the easiest way, and maybe the smartest way to do it would be by throwing a, a big ass screwdriver in here and uh, twisting it by hand just to make sure the assembly moves fairly fairly smoothly. This is magnetic. Really I'm better at that most of the time. Um, so if we wanted to I can show you how that works. Um, so we've got this here so if we're going to turn it 
we're gonna turn it that way, I think. So. Turning that by hand. Things seem to be moving nice and smoothly on both sides, so that's good. I'm not going to go the whole way because I'm fairly confident in this operation, but you can. Um, so I'm going to bring it back up to a, a position up at the front here. I'm going to make sure my motor's uh, unlocked from its manual thing. And we're going to go under here and we're going to try it automatically. So you're going to have to take your roof console. You're going to plug her back in. Oh, here's the single handedness issue I run into. Um, boom. She's clicked in. She's a dangler. Turn on your jag. Make sure you got no check engine lights. As if you do, we're going to uh we're going to give you shit for it. Get it fixed. So, then I'm going to sit here on my assembly and see what things do. That's forward. That looks good. What about that? That looks good too. Let's go up. That's in a fully tilt position. That looks fancy. That looks fancy over there. See that nice new part? See all the grease on there? She's been well greased up. Make sure you grease those parts before you put them in. It'll save you a lot of hassle in the end. The other thing I did, which I'll mention while we're here, is this transition. Uh, where's that pointering device? Pointering. Good grammar this transition here in between this metal sprung arm that helps uh, a wind deflection this pops your wind deflector pops up when uh, when the sunroof goes back this metal to plastic transition here this is a plastic piece here and this is metal there's a little bit of a lip right here from the factory um, which when this arm is pushing up onto it has to depress obviously this piece down um, so this arm pushes this spring piece down um, what I did was I took a small just a regular file and filed this transition off very smoothly so that when this arm or this piece comes to push onto this arm it's got a nice smooth transition and it doesn't get sit there and, and kind of get stuck and jammed up um, it's kind of a Something you can do while you're here that will make for a smoother transition and hopefully save your brand new pieces. Um, not from breaking, but uh, from unnecessary stress. Anyways, that's something to think about. I would suggest you do it while you're there. Um, very, very quick and easy to do. So now we've got that in that position. Let's go down. Oh, we're going to pull it all the way back. We've got a nice smooth sunroof opening back. Let's bring it back forward. And see, this is the part I was watching. Watch this transition here when it tries to push this arm down. Um, again, maybe you wanna just file that down while you're there. So here we go. Nice and smooth, nice and buttery. So there you go, folks. Um, got the sunroof panel on um, I checked the gaps there to make sure they were all okay um, and they did seem to be um, one thing that you'll check when you bolt everything back on is um, you'll see sorry another phone to light up this area so you got the one two three bolts that bolt the sunroof panel on they've got square holes in the blue there basically that blue tab that comes down it's a square hole um, which gives you some adjustment room as to where you want the sunroof panel to sit. So when you've got the mechanism up and working, you make sure you've closed the sunroof to its closed position. And then you're going to come outside and you're just going to make sure that your sunroof line 
is even like you don't have it dipping down in one of the corners on either side um, so that's one of the things you're going to want to check so once you've got that set up you tighten those three bolts there's basically one two three on this panel here um, you tighten them down when you've got this nice and level and then you're off to the races so if you wanted to test again now with the sunroof panel on which is something we will do i'm going to turn off this here flashlight find this here console um, so then we gotta hook it up run out of light run out of daylight mechanics by uh by braille here i tell you there we go got it so hope console's on make sure your kitty's still angry that the sunroof doesn't work make sure you've got a good amount of kilometers on there. This has nothing to do with what we're about to do. Anyways, so here we are. Um, I had that sideways the whole time. I apologize. Uh, so then you got to click your open button and see what happens. Smooth like butter. And we're going to close her again. So no jamming, no popping, no cracking. That's a good sign that everything's nice and loose. If you did hear a clicking sound, like a click, 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 like something was hammering away, it's usually that this motor is jumping a tooth on one of the cables, which means one of your assemblies is too tight. So you're gonna need to, gonna need to take it apart. Unfortunately, not take it apart, but you're gonna need to loosen everything off and just run everything by hand here, maybe with this panel off again. And just see if there's anything tight, which is something you probably should have done before. Something I did, um, just to check. I didn't put it on the video, but um, so there you go. If we want to open it up to see what the tilt looks like. Look at that. We've got tilt. See, so we've got a new arm popping up there. We've got an old arm popping up here. You can't see. Again, the light's pretty bad now, but not just proof of concept, but proof of, well, the fact that it now works. Oops. There you go. Everyone's got a new sunroof on the way. You're, uh, you're in luck because we've got the parts here.